is good, Greg Gang? We're here. We're actually on the riverbank, kind of. We're going to get some cane poles, but we are out here with the world's most famous grandma. <laughs> not really, but we're not going to tell her any different. But anyways, it's Mammy. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so what Mamie doesn't know is that we're actually about to go catfishing with like handheld cane poles. Oh yeah, Mamie, I forgot to tell you that. We're going catfishing and you're just like going to hold the cane poles. Is that okay? That's uh, okay. Okay, but first things first, I actually have to get the cane poles. Now you guys are with me a lot whenever I'm down here. Uh, it's kind of different every time because you can't get the same cane pole twice. I definitely want two massive ones because we're not sticking these in the bank. We're actually going to sit here and hold them. The longer cane pole is, that's the more area we can actually fish. So the larger, the better. And I'm thinking that one right there. Yeah, I think it looks good. Let's go find it. That's the hard part. We have to go into this little Vietnam looking outfit jungle armed with nothing but a KG pocket knife. And we're about to go find, oh my gosh. And be sure not to step on this which is what someone cut maybe last year possibly be but be sure not to step on that and make a oh god i gotta be sure not to step on as i almost step on one right here it's like a natural booby trap just from where people's been before this is intense guys i mean it's really cool and it's really different but hey man it's intense up under here dude i'm just right now i'm just looking for the thickest the thickest bottom because that mo means it's most likely the tallest one ow ow ah all right things hitting me from the top of the head so um as we're looking at size we have some this size about finger size then we have this one this one's massive this one's the one we want i've already got a spider crawling on me but big on son we're gonna take the kg pocket knife i got a new technique that i learned here lately instead of sitting here chopping it like a madman i'm just gonna try to whittle it down and see how that works Mm. Mm. Just whittling it down just like it's a piece of wood. And son, it cuts it just like butter. That did not take very long at all. And I think we got the one we wanted. Huge. Now, to save time, I'm going to leave that one right there. Go find another massive one and then just bring it right through the same round. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I don't think I can. Okay, let's just get out of here while we can. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Go oh, through the jug. Oh. Is it big enough, Mamie? Yep. Yeah, pretty big. Now I just gotta find one at least twice as long. That's, that'd be hard to do. Yes, it will, but I can do it. Uh, well, actually, I may just need one. Because me and you, we're just gonna fish with the same one, just hand it back and forth. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna shred this up, and then, uh... Yeah, then we'll get home, we'll just tie it up, we'll start fishing. How about that? That's okay. Here you go, hold the camera for a minute. Yeah, this is a pretty good one. They're really good. We'll probably break it right here. Mamie, you're not even videoing me. You gotta oh. point it at me. Oh. Come on, Mamie. Like this? Yeah, like that. World's most famous Mamie can't even video. <laughs> what is that? That's not even a Mamie. It's like a mom thing. Can't believe you, Mamie. What are you doing? You're not a mom. Kinda. You're not my mom. I know. Do I look pretty majestic cutting these? Mm-hmm. How majestic? Right, Thir one through ten. How majestic does this look? Thirteen. That's what I like to hear. Alrighty, well we got a massive cane pole. Really, Mamie, you gotta video me. What are you oh. doing? <laughs> we have a massive cane pole here. Should be long enough. Let's uh, go on and we'll actually start getting this thing rigged up. Good job. Good camera work, Mamie. Good camera work. For all you people watching, Mamie, hey, up a little bit more. Up, point it up. There you go. For all you people watching, this lady's going to Hollywood next week, son. She's already signed with a video producer. <laughs> you just gonna get one? I'm gonna fit, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do something else with a rod and reel. Okay. I'm gonna try to catch me a turtle. Because they're in there, ain't they? Yeah. Okay, guys, we are at the pond now. This is where Mamie's gonna be slaying the big cat. We have her gigantic cane pole. It's now rigged up just like we usually do for turtles, as you've seen before in catfish. It's just bank line and then just a random hook. Now, we're gonna be fishing with on top of the water. We're actually gonna use some bread, chum it up, throw it in there, let the catfish be coming up. Then we're gonna, you know, take a disguised piece with a hook in it, set it down in there, and the catfish are just gonna come up and eat it like normally. But in this case, it's gonna be Mamie who swarps on them. Is that right or is that not right? Am I right or am I right? Huh, 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 huh? left or right? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Couldn't say it better myself. But what I was talking about earlier, how uh, I'm gonna be using a rod and reel, 
while Mammy's doing this, I'm going to be trying to snipe a turtle. Now, I've been out here a little bit lately, and I, you know, I threw some dog food in, and, you know, I'll see catfish start coming up. But then over in the distance, I'll look over, and there'll be bubbles come up. And then the bubbles will just start moving over towards, you know, the dog food and all the, fi all the fish. The fish. The fish. Oh, my goodness. But my plan is while Mammy's catching the fish, I'm going to be throwing at the turtles that reveal themselves whenever, you know, all the fish start eating. So I've just got that rod and reel. It's got 30-pound braid. Probably going to need it for a turtle. And then I'm going to be using fat bag. But first things first, let's go ahead and get Mamie suited up with a, you know, a start the feeding frenzy. Then she can catch her catfish. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to set down the camera if I, the best I can. Start chumming a little bit for the cats. So a few more pieces. Now we'll wait until they start feeding. Then once I get really close, we'll set in Mamie's piece and then, you know, she should catch it pretty soon. Have we seen any catfish come up on it? We're going to give it some time, you know, let the, let them start, let the catfish start eating before we throw our bread in. So far, just bluegill, I believe, but the catfish should start coming up any second. I think that may have been a catfish. When a catfish comes up, we'll know it. I can, I can assure you that. All right, they're here. We'll let them eat a few more pieces, then we'll set Mamie's pole right out in the middle of them, and the catfish will have no idea it has a hook in it. Should work flawlessly. All righty, we got the catfish coming up pretty heavy right now. I'm just going to go in here. This is the advantage of having an enormous pole is I can just pendulum the bread right out there where it needs to be. Come on, Mamie, you're going to have to... Oh, the bread just came off. Come on now. Hold this for a minute. I'm going to have to cast it for you. Is that all right? Yeah. You ain't that independent. Good. The bread came off. It got hung up in a stick. Here's how you do it, Mamie. You're going to have to stand up on this one. Ready? Come on yeah. out here. I don't know if I can get down there or not. You're going to have to hold it pretty steady. Maybe two hands. I'll have to brace her somehow so she don't get drug in. Just hold it. Keep holding it. Keep on holding it. Just keep it steady. Keep it steady. Okay, Mammy, sit back on the mule. I'm just going to pull it up here closer. We have the biggest cane pole, which provides its advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages being that it is very heavy. It's green. It's full of water. Yeah, we. we I really didn't think about that through with it. Yeah. How old are you? 147? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, really didn't think about the 147-year-old woman out here holding it. We should have we should have got one a few days ago and let it be drying out. Yeah, that's what we should have done. That's what you're supposed to do, ain't it? Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I just wasn't. Probably sounds about right. You probably wasn't thinking that at all. Okay, Mamie. I hate to break it to you, but this didn't work. We're going to have to come back tomorrow. Okay. It is the next day, guys. We have the 147-year-old grandma out here. We've changed up our battle plan, okay? We decided that maybe a 20-pound cane pole isn't the best idea. So we just got her the, the fishing pole, the fishing rod and reel I was fishing with yesterday for turtle. I'm just going to cast it out there, and it's going to be fun enough watching her try to reel it in. Because it ain't going to be easy. But anyways, I'm going to try to cast it out there one-handed. Uh, oh, that's hurry. Here, get it, Mamie. Now, just don't touch it. Oh, 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 be still, be still. He just about ate it. Just hold on. Just hold on. It'll all be okay. Just chill. Just chill. Just wait. Okay, there you go. Reel it in, man. Reel it in. You better reel it in. Oh, gosh. Just gonna... Don't lose the pole. <laughs> Are we having a, we're having a hard, hard time here, Mamie? Are we having... <laughs> Are we having a hard time? Hold it still. Let him fight a little bit. Only take what he gives you. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's a pretty good one, too. He ain't a tiny one. He's not a tiny catfish. It, did, it took about... Oh, don't break my pole. Don't break my pole. You put that down. Wait, you put... Wait, wait. What? You going to pull him up here for us, or you want me to go and get him? Get him. Give me the pole for a second. Okay. Oh, Mammy, it's probably the biggest one in the pond. Mammy did, in fact, just catch probably the biggest catfish in the pond. Goodness, Mammy. Now, are you going to come take him off the hook? No, I don't believe I'll take him off the hook. Well, hold this and let me get him off for you. Goodness, Mammy. He's huge. What are you going to have to do to him? I'm going to have to get the hook out. Okay, Mammy. Grab him the best you can. Watch out for his fins, okay? Wait a minute. You got him? Yeah. All right, now you're going to have to hold him in one hand and the fish pole in the other. Goodness, Mamie, how are you trying to hold him? I'm not sure, Mamie. Here, you want to throw him back? It's going to bite you, Mamie. Mamie, it's going to it's going to bite you. No, it can't. Here, just toss him back in. He'll be up.
What'd you do? I didn't do nothing. You threw him on the land. <laughs> what do we do now? Take my cane there and push him on over. How in the world am I supposed to do this? I bash that brush down. See, I told you he bit you. No, he never. Yes, he did too. I'm sorry, Mamie threw you into a puddle of nothing. I'll try my best to. Well, I guess I didn't help much, did I? There you go. Hopefully, you can swim from there. If you can't get, from, if you can't swim into the pond from there, I can't help you. I mean, it's right there. You literally just have to move a little bit. Here, take the cane, push him. He'll figure it out. Go on, cat. What's his name, Mamie? Go on. You're going the wrong way. That's the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Hey, some people you just can't help. What's his name? Sam. Well, Sam's not too smart. If he can't get out there, I don't even feel sorry for him. Oh my, oh my gosh, Sam. Hurry up and just... Okay, good. Sam is now back into the pond. But we can throw the rest of the bun in the water and watch him come up and eat it. Yeah. There we go. That calf, that catfish didn't take very long to come up either, did it? No, like we got hit right, right there. That's the first dog. There's what we got out there right now. I think right now so far it's mainly just big bluegill and, yeah, just bluegill hitting it. Those are pretty big splashes for just bluegill too, so I guess that's a pretty good sign. If you want to support the channel the best way, go ahead on over to kendallgray1.com slash shop. One of my favorite shirts I'm wearing it right now, it's the long sleeve fishing shirt with the blue body and the gray sleeves. One more time, where can they pick it up, Mammy? Kendall Gray's shop. kendallgray1.com slash shop. Yeah. Tell them that. Kendall Gray one go one slash shop. kendallgray1.com slash shop. Kendall Gray one slash shop dot com slash shop kinda gray one slash shot i'll take it all righty guys we'll see you in the next video sometime that's a lot of minnows talking out the pool pond make sure you subscribe to kennel gray turn on notifications hashtag jesus hashtag